Hello, wonderful soul. So this reading is a wake up call to see that in truth, you not being together at the moment is a blessing in disgrace. So let's dive right into today's reading and find out exactly what the divine wants to tell you about this. I have a beautiful card deck. It's the Magdalene Oracle card. And the first card I have is Perception. So I feel it's all about shifting your own perception. There is no lack of love. If you are not together yet with your beloved twin flame or your beloved person, it is just some healing work to do. And this card invites you to really shift your own perception from lack mentality into love consciousness. So the love is something you receive from inside. It is all about your relationship with love itself, with yourself, with your heart. And if you can feel that there's a source within of love, within yourself, this is the secret. This is when you can shift this, you will succeed. You will like manifest everything you desire because as you choose to perceive love as something from inside, you are really free. You are really like strong and powerful because you can give yourself love all the time. Every time you need love, you are there and you receive love. So you can free your divine masculine here from being the source of something. And this is, I feel, something which is still very heavy on his shoulders and it is an energy of pushing him away. So to shift your perception here that you are capable of loving yourself and that you have the love inside of you will bring you much closer together in like a short period of time. So the next card I have is Sacred Sexuality. And what I feel is like there is this block you both are working on on both sides. And sometimes it is easier to work on deeper mood patterns or blocks inside of yourself when you are not being fully together. So right now it seems that it is really like the best option that even when you are in truth always together, that you have space to really heal on a deeper level. And I feel that it is a block about intimacy. So as you choose to heal here and choose to overcome this, you can ask yourself, what are you holding back or why are you still afraid to come closer to your divine masculine? Because it is something in your feminine energy that is still like blocking the divine masculine and you cannot really like fully receive his love when you hold on onto something. Maybe old relationship patterns or even trauma where you experience the masculine as not so loving. So this is something which just needs to be cleared. And it is very safe to look at these spaces in your own consciousness, in your soul, so to speak, in your heart. And by doing that, you clear the way and you will like open up yourself to really be able to receive your divine masculine on a much deeper level. And also in the physical. So the next card I have for you, Divine Feminine, is Universal Christ. And there's a man on this card. Maybe it is Jesus, but it is just the Christ consciousness. And I feel you really can embrace your divine masculine on the inner already. And the twin flames embody like the Christ consciousness, which is union consciousness. And what I feel with this card is that your man is really like bringing you closer 
to yourself, bringing you closer to the Christ consciousness, to the union consciousness, into your own union inside of the divine. And this is something very beautiful. And as you choose to perceive that, like with the right perception, you will have a much easier time on your twin flame journey because it is all about embracing love itself. I feel you both are getting ready for your reunion at the moment. So this space you may, it may experience at the moment is crucial in both of your awakening and evolution. So what I want to invite you to is to really embrace the healing which is needed. And I will pull another card on this and the surrender. And this is really a card. It is all about like opening up to the way, opening up to the process, opening up to the divine and surrender on a much deeper level. It is also about letting go of control. And as you do that, open up at the same time to more love. And as you open up to more love, you invite your divine masculine automatically. So because he is there to love you, he is designed to love you. And you can be very sure about the process, very secure and very safe and confident in walking this path because you have the power of choice here. And as you choose love and as you choose like your complete full consciousness, as you choose your lover, as you choose to surrender and as you choose like to support yourself here, you will have like the best time of your life and your divine masculine will manifest also in the physical. There's no way around this. This is like the safest process you can walk. It's a logical, safe path and you can feel very, very secure on that. As you do that, I feel like a lot of control is relieving and the consciousness is releasing and you will have a much better time and you will know that everything which is happening is happening for a reason and that you will have what you desire because what you desire is in your heart and where when you have a desire in your heart it will manifest there is a way and you are walking this path so I want to invite you for personal readings, for more information, more support on your twin flame journey. Please feel free to contact a certified Ascension coach. We are very happy to help you and to guide you and support you on your twin flame journey. So thank you so much for listening to this reading. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much and namaste.